Hello, um, welcome to a video. As you can see, my camera skills and panning shots haven't improved anymore <laughs> since I've hit a thousand plus subscribers and I just wanted to thank people for that. Um, you know, you don't have to listen to me barking on about tobacco, but you know, you, you, you want to and I appreciate that very much. Um, I'm smoking this. It's a arc special, my gardening pipe. I've been gardening this morning. It's got this wing cap. This is a very special pipe to me. Um, it's braved a two thunderstorms. It's braved the heat of the summer. It's been left on the rabbit hutch for a week and <clears throat> it braved all weathers during that period. Um, it really is what embodies a gardening pipe, which is a pipe that's reliable, a good smoker, and um, can be slightly mistreated. Well, in this case, very mistreated. Um, it's got a wing cap for all weather conditions, if you like. Um, it's not in very good nick, but as a smoker, it's absolutely wonderful. As good as any of my Dunhill, pi <laughs> Dunhill pipes. <laughs> oh, um. Ah. Hmm. I just wanted to make a video to say thank you to people who have stuck with me on this uh, little tobacco journey since day one. And, um,. For those people who have subscribed in the last, you know, few years or few months or couple of days, we've uh, reached over a thousand people now, um, which uh, is very, very kind of you. So um, I just want to say thank you, um, each and every one of you, really, for for doing that. Um, it spurs me on, really, and I've never been one to um, look at the likes or the the thumbs up, thumbs down and subscribers, but I saw I'd reached over a thousand, so that was very nice, so thank you. Um, I'm smoking in celebration some Carolina Red Flake um, by C&D. No mould in this one, um, no mould in my other two either. And actually, it's a it's a very very nice tobacco, one that's going to age superbly. Um, I couldn't resist it; I had to break another one open. Um, yeah, we're getting into uh, spring summer now, so I've been smoking a little bit of Presbyterian in the evening. You can see the little very small dark black specks of. Um, uh, black tobacco that's the Latakia tips that they use for this mixture if anyone wants to know how to make a, a proper good English mixture then this should be an example of how to do that everything's blended in perfect proportion <clears throat> and they've used they haven't dumped a ton of Latakia into the blend They've uh, they've got it just right in my opinion, and I love smoking this. Uh, it's an all day tobacco. What else have I been up to? Uh, I broke I uh, broke a pipe. <laughs> my Dr. Graybo, which is this one, um, it snapped. Dropped it like that, and it snapped. There we go. I don't know if what I'm going to do with it. Whether I'm going to drill out or get Mike maybe at Blakemar to drill all that out and put a new stem on it or I'd just buy another one um, see in the UK we haven't got a Dr Graybo uh, um, place to mail your old pipes I know in the US you can mail your old Dr Graybo's back to them and they fit new stems and clean it up and things like that we haven't got that in the UK 
Um, <clears throat> but what we have got is Mike Billington at Blakemar Briars, who probably does a better job. He's got one of my Dagna pipes, which you probably know the story about that. Um, he's currently making a new um, brass band and a new stem for it. So, you know, he's on the job, but it might take a month or so. Um, but it'll be well worth it when it happens. I was going to crack this the other day, but I'm going to wait till um, till Christmas. This is an uh, Captain L's Ten Russians. Look at the bulge on that tin. That's unbelievable. You can't stack it. Big, big. It's, it's as tight as a drum. It really is. It, absolutely solid and there's a big old bulge I think you can probably see it it's from um, 2008 so it's got a nice bit of age on it I'm not going to uh, crack it yet even that's bulging so that's going to be this was from Ron um, my good friend Ron who lives in Iowa um, I you know, thanked him for it, and I stacked it on top of another one, and it did that. And I thought, why is it doing that? I looked at the base, and you can see the bulge on the uh, tin. That's why it didn't, because it's it's got over ten years of age on it. Um, so that's going to be for the winter. So I'm already planning ahead. Um, I've got all my tobacco for the summer, Virginias, vapors. I bought those two big boxes of St James Flake uh, for the summer. I've got a lot of nice Virginias that have aged. Um, some Samuel Goweth Full Virginia Flake. I've also got some... Um, uh, uh, no, there's no point showing you. You saw it on the last video, probably. Some Rattray's Exotic Passion, or Exotic Orange. Um, and a few other ones as well. So. I'm well in there for uh, tobacco for the summer, which is great. But yeah, just enjoying a pipe at the moment, and I thought I wanted to make a video to thank people for um, their kindness and their messages and things. And um, and it's nice to be on this little tobacco journey together. So today I've been gardening with my gardening pipe. Got quite a bit more to do. I bought this Karcher pressure washer. And as you can see, it's absolutely covered in mud. I had a disaster with it. I um, I bought this a good year or so ago and only used it <coughs> for the first time yesterday. And... Um, Little did I realise is it's so powerful the thing throws up whatever's in between your block paving. So if you've got sand or even concrete or mud in between the block paving, uh, the, the hose is so powerful it just sprays it all up and that's what happened to me. And I was covered in mud. <laughs> I only I used it for about a minute <laughs> at the most. <laughs> And then I turned the thing off and put it back and thought, I'm not doing this. I'm going to have to wait till the summer and uh, have another go at it. Um, so that's it really, guys, for today. I'm not doing anything uh, today, apart from uh, sitting in the garden with a gardening pipe, a few tins of, a uh, few bowls of Presbyterian mixture, and um, your next door neighbour's cat. stuck again up the tree oh dear me um, yeah so that's all I'm doing really guys uh, so thank you very much again thanks for your messages and uh, I'll be watching your videos as well today later on I'm sure uh, we're in for a heat wave apparently on this um, Easter weekend it's bank holiday Monday but uh Saturday and Sunday are supposed to be really warm. So we're looking forward to that here. Uh, all the very best, guys. I'll speak to you next week and take it easy.
Thanks again. Bye.